Alright, we're checking out the only game that teaches you about the real world by abusing you with literally everything. It's GTA. Welcome to hell. This is called the Everything Parkour. Yes, as you can imagine, you have to go through this and you will eventually have to use everything. You may say to yourself, Great, there's a lot of circles on this board. Yes, because you need to understand what it's like getting backhanded by a dinner plate over and over again. Out of the way, Wood! Now, although you may start with some Malibu 18-year-old girl's first car, you do eventually get to transition to something much worse. I love how there's all these arrows, but the board creator made sure that, so that none of them make any sense. Their sole purpose is to make you realize that this board's beginning and end is, what the hell was that? Was that, was that like a no sign or was that someone falling to their death in the background? Anyway, its sole purpose is to make you realize that there's really no beginning or end to pain. That right there is a completely sideways road. I feel like this is the one instance where you would tell the children that you're gonna turn the car around and they would legitimately shut up because of how horrifying they are of what's to come. This is actually a very accurate representation of what it's like to bring your third grader to school. All right, and thus we have our very first transformation into something I imagine particularly. Oh God. Speed racer abuse, go! Is there a gigantic ring of boosts surrounding this entire platform. Great, I have to bounce my way into the jaw of the thing that looks like a derpy fish. Here, we go, yeah! Look at that, bullseye, oh piss. Um, I'm pretty sure I can save this. Oh God. Oh yeah, look, they even left you an opening over here so that if you screwed up, you can go around. Okay, so now we have to go to a bicycle. Fantastic. Yeah. I think I could just jump to this. There we go. Trust me, I know that this looks like completely inappropriate wear to be biking on a bicycle, but honestly, this is like true Florida garb right here, okay? I'm talking like pink sandals, and a bathrobe. This is what I go to work in, basically. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just taking a second to remember how to actually use the bike in this game. I know that there's a saying that says you never really forget, but I try and forget very often. <laughs> you may say to yourself, great. Oh, thank God, there's a boost here. I didn't do anything but kill me. What I was gonna say is you may be saying, great, how did you change? I was actually wearing this under my pink jumpsuit. Also, am I wearing yellow underwear? It's not just yellow underwear. It's like yellow bikini bottoms. I don't know, seems legit. All right, so go down here, land it, back up. I backed up too far. You made this portion specifically to screw with me, didn't you? Okay, so back up, but not too much. Right there. That's hot. Maximus Penetraticus! Full flip. Woo! There you go! And I don't really know where I'm going, but I'm just gonna trust. Oh yeah, upside down. I, oh my God! Lands it! Checkpoint. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I'm back to a car. Okay, we've had the daughter mobile, speed racer, a bicycle, and now a limo. <laughs> Does this limo do anything cool? Probably not. It just makes my life a thousand times harder. I can't say I've ever had to parkour a limo, at least not that I remember. I have a feeling I would have recalled this type of very specific abuse. I'm trying to figure out exactly which way it's telling me to get my ass kicked. I'm pretty sure it's over here. Oh yeah, this thing drives like a dream. It's like piloting a drunken hot dog. All right, then you go through the tube of regret. God, now I know what it's like being a freaking dachshund with trust issues. And down here, oh my God, you have to drive on this sideways. No! How the hell do you wall ride a freaking limo? Okay, all you need is speed and patience. Speed and patience. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna jump this. We're gonna land here. Boom. I've got... <sighs> Of course, there's a gigantic hole in the middle. All right, you start going. You go sideways. <sighs> you trapeze around Satan's anus. Mm, this is gonna be a pain in my ass. Maybe you don't need speed. Maybe you can do this. <laughs> you know what, can I get on over here? Oh yeah, this is fine. Maybe you don't need speed. Maybe you can just do this like it is. Here, let's try that. There we go. Oh yeah, look at this. This is easy. This is fine. 
I was wrong thinking that I needed speed in order. Okay, I'm starting to slip now. This is getting a little bit. Why am I levitating up to the top? Why? The game is like, yeah, we just took your blood pressure rating, Gray. It's too low. Starting to slip and then up. See, I don't have to do anything. I just let the limo climb on its own. It's doing the electric slide to the left because it knows if it doesn't, it and I are going to be here for a long time. Here we go. Okay, maybe not. Oh no! And speaking of blood pressure, if you find yours getting too low, you can join the channel memberships. Abuse your fellow commenters with 50 custom emojis. And the rank legend and above gets an extra secret video from me, where I do things like use all of your names in the comment section to create horrible stories, or get drunk and get an AI girlfriend on the internet and then teach her how to take over the world. This is a special hell that I did not foresee. All right, maybe speed is the way to go. Go, 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 yes, 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 yeah, give it to me, yeah, become a limo driver, they said, the tips are great, they said, yeah, if you like spending your entire evening being vomited on by uppity children and there you go just like i can hold on to the very edge of my sanity i will hold on to this platform and get to the end maybe someone would be like hey gray what is the different car they'd be like what is that scent inside of your limo it's apple cinnamon urine all right so go ahead and bleh! and yeetily deep this way perfect we're gonna go ahead and land on this Delicious tube steak over here. Sticks the landing. Grab the checkpoint. Into a completely different vehicle. Ah, you know what we call these down in Florida? Death sleds. Dune buggies kill so many people. <laughs> I couldn't make that jump. Look, I was just trying to get the death toll up, okay? Okay, so over here, onto the platform, and yeet. Or not. How the hell are you supposed to get over there? Oh. Ah! I love how you put arrows in all the important places on this board, creator. God, it's like playing with a friggin' Kinect set back when I was eight years old. Except all the Kinect set knows how to do is kick me in the wiener. Perfect! Checkpoint. Into a motorcycle, okay. I'm just gonna follow this. We're just going. I don't even care. Oh, we're doing the sideways road? Ah! <laughs> I love it. I'm not really sure. I'm trying to determine if I'm going to go into the colon or Taco Bell out of the colon. What the hell's the next set of arrows? I shouldn't have asked. You know what? We're doing this down the roadway. Oh yeah, this is working out perfectly. Just like I had foreseen. Checkpoint. Oh! If you ever wanted some of your very own gray DNA, you can pick it up off the ground right by the delicious cheese grater that removed about four pounds of my flesh. That was the quickest weight loss plan I've ever been involved in. All right, go past the sad sticks over here. Oh, I get to kick a ball. Wow, there's even a goal for me. Ah, there's nothing there. Well, thank you, board creator, for showing me your balloon of lies. Uh, okay, so drop down here, boost off, and I missed the ball. Boop. Yay, go. Wrong way. Which way is the right way? Not going into the colon yet. Uh, I'm gonna go over here and hope that I made the right choice. Totally made the right choice. Now we dance upon the dinner plates of death. Good. How the hell? What? Do I have to go back on the dinner plates? Oh, I just need one of them, I think. Oh, God. Oh, no, here we go. Yeah, they're all perfectly spaced for me. Ha-ha! Checkpoint. I've actually had the same vehicle for a while. I'm kind of surprised. I'd like to take a moment to mention that I didn't die. Listen, I know that sounds fairly simplistic, but for me, it's a big accomplishment. Into the checkpoint, and then... Ah! Now we get a different vehicle. Anytime I don't know what direction to go, I always ask myself... What looks to be the most painful? Very well, what new trauma do you have prepared for me? Besides, a... No! <laughs> ah, screw you! All right, so not all of the arrows are in line. Uh, right about here. Good. And then this is an easy one. And I don't know if I have enough speed to get through. Yeah, I absolutely have enough speed. This is no problem. Ready? Watch this. Through the flaming hoop. Then you get... Vomited out by the devil. Woo! Into a rocket pack. Oh, this is totally safe. Oh, yeah, you 
pay good money for this. One of the things I really wish that this outfit had instead of the headset was a beer hat with gyros on it. I'm like a violent version of Bill Gates. Okay. And you gotta go through the donut of empowerment. Ow! You gotta lose most of your chiclets. There we go. I'm like a shark, okay? My teeth never stop growing. Or a, maybe that was a beaver. I have to land on this guy's solar efficient house. I don't actually know where I am now. And you've gotta take a dip in the pool. Sup, I'm here with your Amazon package. Rise up, my Florida man. Rise up to the heavens. Part of me right now would be wondering also if my wife put gas in this thing since the last time I took it out. I don't know where the next arrow is, so I'm just gonna go up to space and see if I can find it that way. A few seconds later. Oh, found it. World softest landing. Ugh. You may be saying to yourself, Gray, where did that bike seat go? I'll give you one guess. It rhymes with penis. Oh, this is actually a very short time being on the bicycle. Okay, onto the tube. Give everyone the middle finger. Ah! I love that to use this thing, you really have to lean your body weight forward. It gives you the opportunity to stare death in the face as you get the checkpoint. Really, I'm just glad I haven't had to take this thing through a thumbnail hole or anything yet. My worst fears better not be realized. Now, they're gonna be like, hey, Gray, you used a jetpack. How did it feel? Like repeatedly getting an aneurysm. What is this? Would you like to teleport me some more, good sir? Oh, I'm gonna drop down through the rectum, aren't I? What the hell? What is this? What is this? Oh, you have to skydive through the rectum. Hell yes. Oh, got it. And pull the chute. I should have just landed face first. Actually, I will. Hold on. I think I could survive this. Damn it. All right, one more time, one more time. Oh! Ah, yes, this place has many memories associated with it. Right over here is where my frontal lobe came out of my nostrils. So, where to now? Ah, okay. Um, okay, jump. Ow. Let's try that again. Perfect. I need enough height to be able to open up the chute. Okay, this should do it. Hold on. Oh yeah, this is perfect. Here we go. And... Oh, ow, all right, nope. <laughs> no, sorry, I've been drinking. All right, and jump, and shoot. There it is. Uh! Into a amphibious vehicle. Ah, yes, if there's one thing I love piloting, it's motorized bathtubs. I love it when this game gives me awards randomly at the bottom left of the screen. It's like, oh, you haven't died yet, good job. I appreciate right now it's putting all the checkpoints in easy to reach places. I'm assuming it's because it's teaching me this thing drives like a hearse filled with strawberry quick. I'm gonna go ahead and follow these arrows and think that maybe they're pointing me to something important. Oh, they are, over here. And then ramp the vehicle that has all of the grace of a legless gazelle through the arrows of meaninglessness. And where the hell? Where the hell are you supposed to go? Oh, you have to go on top of the tire? Oh yeah! Thing was made for this. Ah, piss! Oh yeah, this is probably the obstacle I love the most right now. Yeah, me and this obstacle are gonna be getting real close for the next few hours. So close, in fact, that I'm thinking about getting out of this thing and ripping this tire apart with my teeth. This thing's traction makes me wanna die. All right, you just gotta push. You just gotta go. You just gotta go. Go, 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 Damn it! Ass and back. I can do this. I know how to do this. This is totally possible. This is slowly driving me insane. Come on, damn it! Go! Stop sliding over to the left! Oh. Well, this is a problem. Actually, I have an idea. We're gonna do this backwards. Oh yeah. Oh, this thing drives like a dream backwards. Look at this! Ha! Ah! 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 Are you serious? Okay, but that did give me an idea. So go on this first. There we go, then transfer to the tire, got it! And that means, folks, that we have a freaking winner! Well, I never thought someone would use a limo to beat me to sleep, but here we are. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of GTA. Until next time, stay foxy, much love.